I'm Dan Simons. I'm a professor in the psychology department at the University of Illinois, and I also have an appointment at the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Technology. Uh, my research here focuses on visual cognition, what we see, what we don't see, how much of our visual world we're aware of, how much we remember from one moment to the next. One of my best known studies uh, was done with my collaborator Chris Chabrie some years ago, and it was based on some much earlier work by our colleague uh, Dick Neisser. And what we had was a video in which people were passing basketballs. So three people were wearing white shirts and they were passing a ball. And your task at, when you were watching the video was just to count how many times those three players passed the ball. We also had three players wearing black shirts passing their own ball. And you were supposed to ignore their passes. So as you're doing this task, after about 30 seconds, say, we'd have a person wearing a full body gorilla suit walk into the middle of the scene, stop in the center, turn and face the camera, thump its chest, and then walk off the other side a total of about nine seconds later. And what we find is that about half the people who do this simply don't notice the gorilla. When Dan asked me to be a part of this experiment, I thought, no way, people are totally going to see me. I'm a 400-pound gorilla. Um, we'll ask them afterwards, how many passes did you count, which they generally get pretty close to right. We then ask them, did you notice anything unusual? Did you notice anything other than the players? Did you notice anything walk through the scene? And they'll say, no. So we ask them, did you notice a gorilla? And the response is typically, a what? So then the Simons guy says, you know, we can show you and not everyone's going to see you. Yeah, right. How can people not see me? I'm huge. I'm ferocious. I'm a 400-pound gorilla. What was he thinking? And we rewind the tape and show it to them again. And the reaction is typically, I missed that? It's shocking that you could possibly miss something as obvious as a gorilla. Of course, the people who noticed the gorilla are shocked that anybody could possibly have missed it because it's right there in front of you. I walk in there, I walk in the middle, all these kids are running around, throwing this ball around. I stand there, I thump my chest. Not once, not twice, three times I thump my chest. That's scary, man. What else are people going to look at? You know, I'm big, I'm a gorilla, and they don't see me. What's up with that? This is the intuition we have, that if something important or distinctive or unusual, like a person in a gorilla suit, uh, walks into our field of view, we'll automatically notice it. The reality is that only about half the people do. Uh, about 90% think they will. People are just so focused on counting those passes that they don't notice me. You know, I'm not trying to be subtle here. Even more remarkable, uh, my colleague Daniel Memmert uh, used the gorilla video in a study in which he had people wearing an eye tracker. And what that does is tells you exactly where they're looking as they're watching this video and counting the passes by the team wearing white. And what he found was that the people who missed the gorilla looked at it for up to a second. So they looked right at it, but still didn't see it. Looking isn't the same as seeing. We have to focus attention on something in order to become aware of it. How do you think it makes me feel? You know, I'm, I'm trying to be intimidating. It makes me feel inadequate. The most consistent question we get is, are there some people who consistently notice the gorilla and other people who don't? So are there noticers and missers among us? And the reality seems to be no, that it's largely just a matter of a flip of the coin. We know when we've noticed something unexpected, but we're not aware of the times when we've missed something unexpected. The failure to notice people in gorilla suits is really a natural byproduct of something that we do quite well and that's very important to us, which is focusing our attention. We need to be able to filter out the distractions from our world and not let them interfere with our ability to do the task we're trying to do. The key is that when you're focusing your attention on one aspect of your world, you don't have an unlimited amount of attention to devote to other things. And we only see those things that we focus our attention on. The problem is that on occasion we filter something that we might want to notice, and we don't realize that we're doing that. That sort of mismatch between what we see and what we think we see is a really profound one that has all sorts of consequences for our daily lives. <sighs> okay, I admit it. I didn't see me either.